Good morning, everyone. Dan with Senior E-Bike Nation. Segment number three of the ride to our halfway point, which is only going to be a couple miles up here now, two and a half miles. And we're going to get off the bike and we're going to talk about it and let you know about the Inoki. My uh, AQ177 Pro Max. This is the um, 48 volt, 60 amp hour battery that'll get you 100 miles on throttle only. And I have tested it at least on pedal assist three and I definitely got my 100 miles with 25 miles still left. Here's that little uh, building I wanted to show you guys here. You've probably seen it a few times if you follow my channel. This is an old uh, grain mill, I believe, that you can see off to the right here. Um, for the uh, railroads many many years ago and let me turn the bike around here and I'll show you this uh, this is the um, called the Alpha Seed and Grain Company Tuxedo Feeds I'm trying to see the rest of what that says over there seeds of all kinds so yeah, that's a pretty cool little building there. Uh, that was built many, many years ago. I'm thinking back in the late 1800s for the railroads primarily. So yeah, let me get back on the trail, go to the other way. We're gonna cut through the grass here. Yeah, it's called the Alpha Mill, which is really cool. Hope you guys are having a great morning. I want to thank you for uh, following my video today. And thanks to you for my subscribers and people that do follow along on my rides. I appreciate that. As you can see, it's kind of wet out here today. Got to be careful with all these wet leaves as I'm riding. I definitely got to be careful when I get up to the bridge because that wood, that wooden deck on that bridge is really slippery. So I may do the review right on the trail instead of uh, getting off onto the wood uh, bridge there. It's pretty slick. I've uh, learned to uh, try to avoid that when I come up here when it's wet. I think I finally see a bicycle. That's the first one I've seen today. I think that's what it is. Could also be a skater. Some of them speed skater guys. I see them a lot on the trail. Or it could be a skateboard. I'm not sure about that either. But it's not a bike. I still haven't seen a bike on the trail yet. And I believe he's walking. Couldn't see it until I now come up on him. On your right. Yeah, we've had some rain last couple days, so it was raining a little bit this morning. But I'll tell you, we really needed to rain. It's been so dry around here in southwest Ohio. Big gravel company over there. did bring my rain jacket today and put it in my bag just in case I need it. 
I've been caught out in the rain before and it's not a whole lot of fun. So I try to come prepared as I can. I may have to adjust my um, tire size in my bike. I think I've got it set where it should be. But have I noticed my Strava app is usually a little less than my bike shows once I get up to uh, a certain point to check the mileage. And uh, so I may have to do a little tweaking on that. I believe my Strava app is more accurate on my phone than it is uh, on the bike. So we'll be looking at when we get up here. On your left. Just as we cross the bridge here uh, over the river, it's where I'm gonna stop and we'll get off and talk about the bike. Unless there's somebody up here, we'll come back down the other end, but usually there's nobody up here. Okay, here we are. Here's our halfway point we're going to do today. Anybody that follows my channel is very familiar with this area of the ride. Let me go ahead and turn my uh, pedal assist off here. I really don't want to hit that throttle accidentally as I'm uh, getting off this bike because uh, there's a good chance that you're going to maybe lose your bike there. That bridge isn't too terribly slick today, so we're going to be okay. But yeah, let me go ahead and set this down here and turn my headlights off of my bike as well. It's got a pretty bright light, actually. I'll show that to you here in a couple minutes. Okay, I'm going to talk about this bike a little bit. This is called the Anoki. Take my helmet off so you guys can I can show you a little better with my helmet off here about this bike. This is called the Anoki AQ177 Pro Max. This is their 20 inch by four inch fat tire bike. This whole area right here is the battery. Again, this is a 48 volt, 60 amp hour battery. This bike will get you a 100 mile range, throttle only. And I've watched several videos now that guys did get that distance. Um, I did it in pedal assist three on my initial range test instead of throttle only, because I had to take my weight into consideration. And I did it over a three day period. I did not do this on a uh, one day ride just didn't make sense to me but yeah um, I did I did have about 25% of my battery was still left on the bike when I did the um, 100 mile range test so I was really happy with that yeah, so anyway we'll talk a little bit about the bike it's got a uh, 750 watt rear hub motor here it's a Bafang head uh, which is a very good motor and it's also again got a 48 volt 60 amp hour battery and there's the charging port it's kind of neat the way they did this it's got an eight, eight amp hour charger on it which i really like that and uh very comfortable pedals the seat is the stock seat very comfortable seat on this bike i'm gonna leave that alone i'm not going to change that seat out and it's got uh, front and rear suspension um, I'm not sure the brand on this suspension. It's got a Noki on there, but I'm sure they got an aftermarket company that uh, that uh, does their suspension. Very bright headlight, as you can see. Happy with that. 
I put my own uh, headlights up on here as well. These are Karuna lights, but I'll tell you about all that in a minute. And let's see what else we got on the bike. We have got a seven-speed Shimano shifter right here. And we've got a half-twist throttle right here, uh, which is really nice on this bike. And you've got the cockpit area here also has your, um, your headlight button. And it's got your uh, information here where you can see I've went 181 miles so far on this bike and um, averaged about uh, max about 21.6 mile an hour. Um, I'm averaging about 17 miles per hour. There's your amp hours. And here's what I really like. There is your volts. Still showing 53.1 volts. And I think this is about 54.7. Um, and I've already come on the bike. Let me see here. I've already come 12.7 miles. So yeah, it's only used a volt, which is really good on this bike. Um... So yeah, the battery is just a massive battery and it does, and it's heavy, it's a 30 pound battery. As you can see, it lifts right out of here. And you've got your key over here to uh, take that battery out right here. And I keep the key in my back of my bag as well. But yeah, look at these uh, rear suspension on this. I believe these have got uh, air shocks, it's got the oil that goes in the reservoir there, I believe. It's got your tourney derailleur. And it's got your double um, chain ring also that I really like. So you, you're switching gears and stuff. You're not going to um, come off your uh, chain ring with this, this double here. I like that. And also it has got the CST BFT um, 20 by 4 inch fat tires. Really good brand of bike tires. I'm telling you, they put quality parts on this bike when they build it. And uh, this got a 180 uh, millimeter rotor. Look how thick this rotor is on this bike. I mean, with a bike that weighs 110 pounds, you obviously need good stopping power. And it's got great brakes on this. They are called Disland brakes. Um, I highly recommend this brake. Um, if, as you can see, you've got the adjustment here on the uh, handles for the distance that you you can travel to your on your brake levers I like that and uh, yeah I mean it's it's a beautiful bike it's it's uh, really handles well uh, I have had no problem riding this bike at all highly recommend this bike again it's priced at fifteen fifty right now I believe uh, the last time I looked and uh, yeah Anoki hit this out of the park when they uh, when they built this bike See the handlebars here where they adjust in and out? That makes it very nice. Wire management's done extremely well on this bike, as you can see. It just tucks right into the uh, frame down there, down to the controller. And I'll talk about a couple things that I bought that I put on this bike aftermarket now that we're talking about it. I have put these bar end mirrors on all my bikes. I love the way they're designed. I like the blue tin on them. I, that's just something I put on all my bikes. Here's another thing I put on all my bikes is um, these cup holders. They're really for wheelchairs, but to Kim, Kimi Moto, as you can see, they attach very well to any bar on the bike as far as down tubes or whatever. So I really like that. And these are Karunu lights I put on. I really like using these at nighttime. But I'll show you how bright that is. I mean, uh, you blind somebody with that thing. If I can get the button to push here. There's another mode, another mode, flashing mode. Yeah, I put them in all my bikes as well. And I also have this Bluetooth speaker here. This is a little different brand I originally bought. I've got other Bluetooth speakers that I also have now on my bikes. If I want to listen to podcasts or music or whatever. And these are the, um, the Rock Brother bags. I really like these. This I put on all my bikes. And here's my turn signals I was telling you about. Um, as you can see, how loud that is. I need to adjust this over farther back on the bike. But as you can see, 
it's pretty good light, a pretty good noise for, for those and you just hit the button again and then the right one sounds a little different so you know kind of which one is on as well so I put these on all my bikes this has got an alarm on it as well and it's got a nice horn on it so yeah this is an aftermarket I got all this down in the description box of uh, what I purchased and um, I think that's about all that I have purchased on this bike except my alarm I also have this type of alarm on here I uh, couldn't really find a good place to put this so I just put it here I think it'll work fine but yeah I carry the remote for that and uh, and uh, it's pretty loud actually I'll show you real quick here let me get my phone out here real quick I think I've got my remote with me and I'll show you how this thing works that's this little alarm right here you just heard and this thing is set now so if you just push the handles on this bike well it's supposed to not working so well today that's that's what you'll hear and if you go to try to move this bike that's what it does so basically all you do is push the button right there and it shuts it back off see how there's not a good chance somebody's going to steal your bike without you hearing that for sure and also i wanted to forget one thing on this bike the hydro hydraulic brakes i did mention that but uh, yeah, look away these built. I think these have two pistons on this. It's a two piston uh, brake system. And uh, so that's very well done as well. So yeah, I highly recommend this bike for you folks. Um, it's easily uh, to step over. And uh, somebody with getting older like I am and people with some disabilities, uh, this is a good bike for you. Now, keep in mind, this bike weighs 110 pounds, so if weight is a problem for you to hold a bike up, this is not going to be your bike. But, yeah, if you still got some strength, and, uh, and the battery is the biggest thing with the weight. I mean, the battery alone weighs 30 pounds on this bike, so it's pretty massive. But, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I'm going to go ahead and check out now. I want to thank you for uh, watching the video. And uh, if you got any questions, put them down in the comment section. Share and like the video and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification and I will see you guys on the next video.